Hello and welcome to another Mega Minute here with Pastor Tommy. Today we're talking about a passage from the book of Chronicles. It comes from 2 Chronicles in chapter 7. So years before this, David had a vision from God. He, he had decided that he'd want to build a house of worship for his God. And he had all these grand ideas and God said, David, you are not going to be the one who gets to build this temple, but you can start preparing for it. So in his lifetime, David began to accumulate all the materials and the designs and things they're going to need to build this temple. But because of his, well, his history with war, God basically told David, you don't get to be the one to build it, but your son Solomon, he's the one who gets to build this temple. So King Solomon comes along, he's got the preparations made, he's got things already stored up from his dad, and they're ready to begin to build this magnificent and wonderful temple. We find the description of the completion of it here in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 11 through 16. It says, When Solomon had finished the temple of the Lord and the royal palace, and had succeeded in carrying out all he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and his own palace, the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. Can you imagine what it was like to build that temple? All the workers coming together, everybody chipping in, doing their part. Here's some interesting facts about Solomon's temple. So this is Israel's very first temple place of worship. Israel had the tabernacle for 400 years, but this is going to be a permanent place where people can come and worship God in a very special way. The temple site was located on Mount Moriah, where Abraham, that's the spot where Abraham had offered his son Isaac. The temple was built of great stones, cedar beams, and boards overlaid with gold. The construction itself took seven years. When they dedicated the temple, King Solomon offered 220,000 oxen, 120,000 sheep. It was a 14-day feast that was held. The temple was built by 30,000 Israelites, 150,000 Canaanites, artists from Phoenicia, and craftsmen from Tyre. The temple it faced the east, and it was built to the general plan of the tabernacle, but it was twice its size. And in the center of this, in the middle part, was the Holy of Holies, Inside this place, it housed the Ark of the Covenant. You can imagine this was a very special building, a very special place for the Israelites. And they would go there to worship their God in a very special way. Kind of reminds me that when we come and present our offerings to God, really, it's the three T's. You can offer God your time, your talent, and your treasure. So think about it. The people came and they dedicated their time. People spent years working on this temple. They also dedicated their treasures. People gave freely and they brought their materials and their resources to give their very best to God. Time, talent, and treasure. They used their talents to build and design and to make this thing come to life. So if you think about this temple that the Israelites built, I want you to think about in your life, are you giving God your very best? Do you give Him the best of your time? Do you give Him the best of your talent? And do you give Him the best of your treasure? That's what the people of God around King Solomon did when they built this temple. And that's the same thing that God is asking you and I to do today. We don't live in a, a physical temple where we don't have to go to a church building to worship God. We can worship God anywhere. Matter of fact, the Bible says that our body now is the temple of God and that God dwells inside of us. We are that temple. But we do have to do the same thing that the Israelites did with King Solomon. We do have to give God our very best. So think about it. Are you giving the best of your time, your talent, and your treasure? Hope you enjoyed memorizing this passage. Hope to see you again here next time on Mega Minute with Pastor Tommy.